welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. This is Vlogmas day three. Thanks for tuning in to our holiday series. If you're new to Vlogmas, welcome. And basically we are uploading a video from December 1st all the way to December 24th every other day. So you get 12 videos from us in the month of December. We hope you enjoyed the series so far. We have a lot of upcoming fun and new content for you. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it and subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. So today's Vlogmas is going to be a suggested video from our friends Tilly and Eleanor in the UK so hi guys and um, she suggested we do a video on uh, winter safety and what you should wear on your dog in the winter because if you live somewhere like me it gets really brutal and cold in the winter and we have to protect our dogs from the cold from the ice and from the snow not only protecting them but it's it also makes your cleaning a lot easier when they get into the house there's basically two types of dirty for a dog i call it the summer dirty and then the winter dirty the summer dirty when they get home blenheims become gray so it's very like LA and Vegas, you know how they get like all black and dark? That's like the summer dirty. And there's ways to protect against that, of course. But what I'm going to talk to you about today is the winter dirty, which is wet dogs. You're not dealing with anything black most of the time unless there's mud involved, but there's a lot of snow and especially snowballs. So you want to protect their paws and especially with cavaliers and any dogs that have long fur below their stomach, there's going to be a lot of cleaning up for you to do after they play outside. So in the winter, I always like to take a five extra minutes to dress them every time I bring them outside. Obviously, if you're just going for a quick potty, there's no need for that. If I'm just going around the condo, I'm not going to dress them up. But if I'm going to the backfield and playing with them, I'm going to take the extra minutes in order to um, get them properly dressed. So what I really, really believe in are boots. And this is not only because it looks cute or anything. And I know it's kind of controversial because some people say dogs don't need boots. But I beg to defer because Milton legit gets cold, okay? So... In the winter, as soon as it drops to like minus two degrees Celsius, she shakes outside and she's like very dramatic about being outside. And I know that she feels more comfortable in boots because if she has boots on, she can stay outside forever. Herky has a higher tolerance for, for cold and snow and she could go up to like minus 10 to minus 15, but when you go to like minus 20, then she needs her boots. So she would prefer to be naked all the way down to minus 20. And even then, she she's gonna look at you like, why are you putting these things on me? But she feels much more comfortable and she doesn't walk on three legs when she has boots on. Okay, so don't, if you don't follow us on Kivology, then you haven't heard of us talking about these boots yet. I have announced it on Instagram. We had a favorite pair of boots last year, but unfortunately that company went out of business, so we can't get those boots anymore. But we were lucky enough to find these ones this, these ones this year. They are from the brand Mudlux, and they're not the original Mudlux. These are the Snow Mushers. And my knock against the original Mudlux is that they're harder to put on than these. These are so easy to put on and off. I'm gonna show you right now on Milton. Milton, can you sit? Basically just put her paw in like this. You hold the elbow tight and then you just um, you just push it in. The opening is large enough for you to just plop the, the leg in and then the strap actually goes around twice. So the boot stays on nice and tight. They're easy to put on. They're easy to take off, which I really like. And what I like about these boots this year is that they have a solid rubber sole. So this makes them more durable because sometimes it's cold, but there's not necessarily snow. So if you put on boots that don't have the rubber sole, they can get used up faster so that's why i love these so both herky and milton have these we have them on our boutique kivology.com milton is a size one herky is a size two if you live somewhere that's not as cold as canada but they're still kind of cold and wet but not necessarily snow i would suggest you go with the brand paws it's the rubbery boots that it kind of looks like balloons that you pop on the on your dog's paws those are disposable so i would say you can use them like maybe 15 to 20 times um, before you start seeing some used up parts and then you have to dispose them. So if you're more earth conscious, maybe that's not the best option for you, but I'm telling you like those are the two boots that I'm really enjoying right now. We of course use those pause boots when it's, when it's rainy and cold but also when it's hot. So those are the, the boots that we also wore in Vegas. They can withstand like really hot asphalt too. So those are good like winter and summer boots. So I don't remember Herky and Milton what size they are in the paws, but it's the red ones. For the paws boots, every size is a different color. So they use the red ones. 
Okay, so the reason why boots are so important, it's not only because they get cold and everything, it makes your cleaning a lot easier. So when you get in the house, you just remove the boots and their paws are clean. And second of all, it's also to protect their paws against like ice and snow and pavement and pavement when it's hot, of course, and salt. Salt can actually irritate their paws. So when they just walk on that repeatedly, it's just irritating for them under their paws. So boots, I really, really believe in. Of course, there's gonna be a period of adaptation if you're gonna put boots on your dogs. Uh, so I would suggest the earlier the better. If you have a puppy and this is the first winter, I would get him him or her used to boots immediately because you're just gonna win in the long run. Okay, next category I wanna talk about are jackets or outerwear. For this, you can either go with sweaters or jackets. I just love jackets. Milton, as I mentioned, she gets cold at like minus two degrees. She's gonna, if we're playing outside, she's gonna start like shaking. These are Herky and Milton's jackets for this year. Milton has the pink one and it's reversible, okay? So you got the light pink on one side, you got the medium pink on the other, it's reversible, it's adorable. What I like about these this year is that they don't have a hood, which the hood is cute but it's it, it doesn't really serve a purpose. So this is just a puffer jacket and it looks adorable. And then Herky's is a beautiful lime green and on the inside it's gray. So I love these colors on them, I just think it looks super cute. It also helps for it not to be like too much uh, snow on them. So again, if you want these and also some sweaters that we have, everything's on our website, Kavalaji.com. So yes, this, the biggest point for this is that it keeps them warm. You can either do a jacket or a sweater. Uh, it has a hole in the back here if you want to pop the harness through. It's great. But the reason why jackets are so important, it's, it's kind of a myth that dogs don't need jackets. It really depends on the dogs. Of course, if your dog is like 120 pounds and he's a husky or he's a Pyrenees mountain dog or a St. Bernard, whatever, those dogs can withstand more cold weather than small dogs. But imagine a, ch a bald chihuahua outside at minus 20. I mean, of course they're gonna be cold. And that's the case with Herky and Milton. And third category and are pants. And this might sound really weird, especially if you ha you've never seen them, but this is so good for cavaliers and any dogs that have like long hair, okay? Because this is like sort of a waterproof material. It has reflective bands. And I love putting this on Herky and Milton when they go play and there's like a lot of snow, like a beautiful feel of snow. And then the girls just love that. So if it's that condition and I'm gonna bring them outside, you best believe I'm gonna put pants on them, especially if it's slightly warm, this is gonna prevent so much snowballs, honestly. And sometimes I'm lazy and I don't put it on and then I regret it right away. They come in and they're covered in snowballs. And it's actually painful for them because imagine like those big snowballs and it's just tugging on their hair and it's in the way of their legs and they just can't walk anymore. Last time that this happened to us, the girls just refused to walk. And I had to physically break, start breaking down the snowballs before going up. And then once you go up, the only way to get them out is in the shower and you you kind of just rinse water on the snowballs and they, they all melt but anyways if you have these pants they're gonna save you because they cover the entire undercarriage of your dog all the legs up here so all the feathers of your cavalier are gonna be all covered up this is amazing so you basically plop the front legs i'm gonna show you on her So there's how you put it on. I would always suggest you put the front paws in first, then the first strap, and then you go back paws, and then back strap, and then you finish with the middle strap. There you go. So it looks really funny, but you can wear it with or without a jacket on top. And then it doesn't prevent your dogs from peeing and pooing. As you can see, everything here is shown. And then the slit, is right here so if you have a male it's just fine it looks so good and she's fully protected and it might look silly but it makes your job easier it protects them against the snow and everything there you go how fabulous does she look huh my little ski bunny okay and last but not least of course category that's super important for winter and i strongly believe in is a hat your dog really needs a toque because it looks cute and it's gonna protect them against the cold and just, it's gonna protect their ears and their head and everything. No guys, I'm kidding. This is, I'm totally kidding about the hat. Okay, so please pause, pause right now. My recommendation stopped at the pants, okay? This is purely ornamental and this is purely for looks and it's purely for giggles. Your dogs don't need a toque. This was just cute, okay? So I just wanted to 
end the video on that note. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And just a reminder to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any Vlogmas videos. We will be posting all the way till December 24th. So we hope you'll come back in two days. And until next time, we love you and we'll see you soon. Bye.